Let's again use the quadratic formula to solve this quadratic equation. It's in the standard form, isn't it? Second power term, first power term, constant term equal to zero. You always have to have the equation equal to zero. You always have to have your polynomial written in descending powers of the variable before you apply the quadratic formula. Here, my a coefficient is two. My b coefficient is two. My c coefficient is one. I'll plug those into the formula. So this says x equals the opposite of b, the opposite of positive two is negative two, plus or minus the square root of b squared. b squared is two squared, that's four, minus four times a, which is two, times c, which is one. All of that divided by two times a, and a again is two. And now we'll simplify that radical expression. x equals negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 8, all of that over 4. 4 times 2 is 8, times 1 is 8. Oh, look again what's going to happen. Is it 4 minus 8, negative 4? And we again are thrown into the complex number system because of trying to take the square root of that negative. Taking the square root of a negative introduces imaginary numbers. This is the real number part. This is the imaginary part of my overall complex number solutions. So let's simplify the square root of negative 4. First of all, simplify it by getting rid of the negative. Negative 4 equals 4 times negative 1. And the square root of 4 is 2, and the square root of negative 1 is represented by lowercase i. So I can replace the square root of negative 4 with the, with the imaginary number 2i. So my solutions are x equals negative 2 plus or minus 2i over 4. And now, split it apart into the two fractions. x equals negative 2 fourths plus or minus 2 times the square root of i over 4. And I can reduce there, can't I? Negative 2 fourths would reduce to negative 1 half. And 2 fourths would reduce to 1 half. So the two complex number solutions to that quadratic equation would be negative one-half plus one-half i, negative one-half minus one-half i. The negative one-half is the real number part of the complex number solution. One-half i is the imaginary part. Those two parts together make the complex number. Every complex number consists of a real number part and a complex, excuse me, an imaginary number part. And those two parts together make the complex number. So once again, I had a quadratic equation that had complex number solutions. And that was caused by trying to take the square root of negative 4, which throws us into the imaginary numbers. Another example of using the quadratic formula to solve a quadratic equation.